Welcome to the presentation in which we are going to talk about the trick to remember the trigonometry formula for sine 3 theta and cosine 3 theta. I'm going to ask you one question. When you start learning the trigonometry, which trigonometry ratio you learn first? Sine, cosine, tangent, secant or cotangent, which one you learn first? Definitely you learn first sine, alright? So we're going to learn first sine 3 theta formula. So the formula for the sine 3 theta I'm going to write first, all right, and then I'll tell you how you can remember it. Formula for the sine 3 theta is 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cube theta. Okay, this is the formula for the sine 3 theta. So here, few things I'm going to tell you. Every term, you know, every term contains, every term contains 3 that keep in mind always contains 3 every time see a sine 3 theta minus 3 sine theta minus 4 sine q theta and all term contain same ratio same trigonometry ratio same trig ratio all right trig ratio same trig ratio it means here is sine then here is also sine here is also sine there is no cos or tan or cotangent whatever it's not so if you're writing sine 3 theta formula, then 3 comes first, 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cube theta. So uh, now, if you want to write the formula for the uh, for the cos cosine of 3 theta, then it's very, very easy. How? Just replace the first term as a second term and second term as a first term from the formula sine 3 theta. So this is the first term and this is second term, all right? So this first term will be now second term and second term will be first term. Just exchange it will be. All right. So it, it's here, here it is minus. All right. Uh, uh, now was, all right. So 4 sine cube theta. Now it will be 4 cos cube theta and minus as it is. And now 3 sine will be 3 cos theta. Just replace the first term by second term and uh, sine by cosine. That's it. Okay, so this is this is a very simple trick to to remember it. First, always keep in mind that each and every term contains three. Here also, it's cosine of three theta, four cos cube theta, minus three cos theta. So here is also three. Here is also three. Here is also three. Every time you are getting three, and you know you learn first sine trigonometric ratio. So that's why when you're writing sine uh, three theta formula. So here 3 comes, all right? You're learning 3 theta, thrice of theta. So 3 comes first. And in the first, you should know to, to write this, you know, to, to uh, write the sine 3 theta formula. If you know the sine 3 theta formula, then cosine 3 theta is just opposite. Just replace the first term by second term and sine by cosine. That's it, all right? Uh, I hope you understand it, you know. Just write one more time writing. You want to write sine 3 theta. So 3 theta, it will start with 3, all right? Sine theta. 3 came and in next term it will be 4 after 3 4 comes all right and I already told you each term contains the same trigonometry ratio so it will be sine and we didn't get here 3 so let's cube it sine 3 and now you want to write cos 3 theta so it's just opposite I told you first term will be second term and second term will be first term so this is second term will be first term 4 and sine will be replaced by cos so cos cube theta minus now 3 sine will be replaced by cos so it will be cos theta that's it this is how we can uh, we can remember the uh, the formula of sine three theta and cos theta. This is actually the I how I how I analyzed in my school time and I remember by this method. So I hope this will help you. I mean it's not the rule given by any professor or some someone big person. I just uh, learned. I, I just uh, use this to remember in my school time. So I just want to share with you whether you like it or not. I'm not sure, but uh, I hope this will help you.